My lord, if I may. Standing on all existing protocols, standing before you is Barrister Boniface in Joko, ex choir, 20 years plus of practice. I cannot subjugate my personality with a baby lawyer trying to subjugate and incapacitate my client's obstication. Innocence must be adorned before any form of justice must prevail. Okay. I begin my defense with the Latin adage that says, Nemo senseto ignorare legem. That is to say, and I quote, ignorance to the law is no excuse. My client here has been accused of extrajudicial murder. How judicial can he be? I stand to correct you with evidence of the CCTV footage, even if it is not clear enough. But we got the broken audience. From people around the vicinity. The conscious motus practice has been able to subjugate and claim my clients of innocence within the jurisprudence. What is the law not saying? Are we not humans? Can this kind of stomach be capable of running from a mother? Where does he want to run to? Is he a wolf? Eh? What sort of ethically close class merigotis hocus pocus will be able to subjugate my clients in subordination? I stand to be corrected, oh, but I do not want to say much. My opposition here has to be able to convince me beyond reasonable doubt that my client was at the scene of that mother to subjugate the incocus practice mental split corridabilis to come to get with the law's excrepances. I leave you with this Latin adage that says, can schools mental Majesties, let justice prevail before innocence can be subjugated. Arrest my case. Counsel, hey yourself. And thank you very much. And first and foremost, let me give you my rubrics, nomenclature, pre-domain, cognomen, and non diploma. I'm professor by Sartitus, the academic juggernaut, and hey. elder egghead, and a long headed apparatchik in this whole cosmopolitan metropolis. Thank you very much. I must thank you, my lord, for giving me your broad Ignatian elephantine, gagagman, and titanic ears, and you deserve prolific honorific ability to deny the boss. Now, let's uh, proceed to the case. You see, looking at the crinkum crankum, the nuts and bolts, and the uh, egodi pigodi that have eclipsed this whole edifice, you can deduce that what this corpus metis homo sapiens have been saying is just utmost degree pokery, hanky panky and stupendous in Objection, my lord! Objection overrule! Council is trying to overrule the sense. Yes, my friend, will you sit down? Continue. First and foremost, ex abortasia and nim kodi oslo as I vociferously yakiti yak and vabos ex morimo too. You see, if you wrap your medulla oblongata hypothalamus and hippocampus <laughs> around this whole issue, you will deduce that it is just a problem <laughs> nadian cataclysm and predicament. This, 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 this crap blame dry like it. My lord, you never is like it. Sorry, objection sustained. If you talk again, I will slap you. I'm not your mate, but I will sit down. Please continue. This attitude is just an, a, a paranormal or target to this edifice and a judicator. Now, let me give you the dinkum oil. This is from the crinkum crank to the forced origo and the consagenesis. That is the genesis of this issue. You can see that this man is just trying to eclipse every compost mentis from Osatians here in a new one all time microscopic silico volcano and a broadening dagger flow calcinic helicification. Wouldn't they help us?